Flight director is go for launch. All right, we're now T-minus 20 seconds until liftoff of Starship Flight 6. This will mark our second attempt to catch the super heavy booster at the launch tower, as T well as... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vehicle is pitching down range. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Alright, we're just a little over a minute into flight. Dynamic pressure. We're about six miles away, so all the sound's still hitting us here. Hearing good call outs that power telemetry nominal that's flying straight and true. We do see all 33 Raptor engines lit up on telemetry screens. At this point we've passed through that point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, that max Q. Now coming up in just a little over a minute from now is going to be hot staging. So we're going to see the six engines on the ship ignite while still attached to the booster. Just before that, we'll see all but three center engines on the booster shut down. And what we call Miko, it's most engines cut off instead of main engine. And so while we continue to watch it go up, a lot of our flight controllers looking at all the systems around the tower. Again, we have to send a manual command. Just about 30 seconds away from hot staging. And we heard, we heard the tower is go for catch. Booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Booster six out of six up. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take out the views. Hopefully I got a booster. Coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now it is performing the Ship boost back burn. Phenomenal. Good news there, telling us that the, uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, booster is currently, super heavy is currently in its boost back burn, this boost back burn. Avionics power telemetry nominal. This boost back burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, uh, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be hot stage jettison. The view from the camera on the left, or from the booster on the left hand side of your screen, and then tracking cam there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next- Starship is following a nominal trajectory. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, pair down to three engines right before 
booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out. Uh, boost back, or excuse me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are our no-go for the catch. Um, as we said before, both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no-go for tower catch. And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today yep. we will forego booster catch today. But what you're seeing on your screen is ship uh, currently making its way towards the Indian Ocean, still looking good so far. Exactly. So views there of the booster on the left-hand side of your screen, views of the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. Now, we said before that it was not guaranteed that we would be able to make a, uh, a tower catch today. So while we were hoping for it, like we said, it was pretty epic on attempt one, but uh, the safety of the teams and the public and, uh, and, and the pad itself are uh, paramount. So we are accepting no compromises in any of those areas. Exactly, and we're still going to get a lot of good flight data with booster even, but especially with ship. Again, we have an additional objective today to do an in-space relight of a Raptor engine, which again will help us set us up for uh, being able to do deorbit burns, which is ship chamber pressure phenomenal. Which, yeah. which is important for orbital flights. And what you're seeing on your screen is a view from Super Heavy as it's making its way back down to Earth. Yeah, once again, we are attempting an offshore landing of the Super Heavy booster. Uh, so we have seen this before, uh, and it is still very fun to watch, <laughs> watching it come down uh, for a soft splashdown uh, off the Gulf Coast of Texas. We can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Oh, we can see that the landing burn has begun on the Super Heavy booster. And same pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three, just as we expected. And what an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, super heavy. Down. Yeah, I'm sure the buoy cam views will be <laughs> pretty awesome once again. So we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster. Congrats to the SpaceX team uh, for making that milestone as well. Now, ship continues to look good. We can see uh, that it is, while all of that was happening, <laughs> the crowd here in Hawthorne uh, continuing to react to all these amazing views that we're getting. The next milestone is- Starship uh, is in terminal guidance. Great news there. Uh, uh, Starship Terminal Guidance, referring to what we see here on our screen, the upper stage, uh, at uh, about eight minutes, 35 seconds or so, we have ship engine cutoff, which will be the cutoff of the, uh, the, the Raptor engines. We can see on our screen, ship giving us some incredible views brought to us by Starlink. Uh, this view is also very interesting because we can see basically the receding tile line that we referred to earlier, where we mentioned we have removed a number of heat shield tiles in order to test out and push the envelope on the ship and demonstrate what its capabilities are. Ship engine cutoff. And there we just heard call out for Seco ship engine cutoff. Great news there, everything continuing to look Awesome for ship. Uh, as you're now really down with the force of Earth's gravity. And Just heard up. the call out for startup. There's some light. There's that Raptor relit. And shut down.
We can see some flap movement as the camera is moving around. Um, that's what you're seeing there is the flaps adjusting. Um, we have a camera on one of the flaps there that were, that this is the view that you're seeing there. And you can also see the graphic in the bottom. Starship um, is slowing down past Mark 1. And callouts aligning with this. You can see the orientation of the vehicle starting to change. You can follow that graphic at the bottom of your screen. Um, again, that is why those flaps are changing. They control the orientation of the vehicle. Yeah, there are yeah, four. This is Go ahead, Starship Dan. has started the subsonic body drop. Gonna... Remains on a good trajectory. I was going to say, this is, this is when things will we'll start to get a little interesting. So this is when we're, we're moving slower than the speed of sound. You can see that nose slowly start to tip down uh, and we're gonna try and maintain flap control the whole way. But we are just, just a couple minutes away from hopefully doing a landing flip, uh, landing flip and landing burn if, if uh, the flaps can hold together. Yeah, this is such a cool view. This reminds me uh, of when we first performed the belly flop maneuver on the high altitude test with serial number eight. We saw the ship come back through and I always wondered what it looked like from the ship's perspective. And this perspective I think helps inform that. We will be, as Dan said, we will be dipping down a little further and really be flying nose first. Um, this higher angle of attack you know, we're intentionally doing it to stress those aft flaps, and that will help inform the limits of flap control in order to collect data for future landing profiles. I mean, we're looking, we're looking good so far. We've just got about five kilometers in altitude to go. We'll, we'll ignite the engines when we're still just a couple hundred meters uh, over the ground, do that flip. Starship is passing landing. through five kilometers altitude, remains on a good trajectory. I have a feeling this is gonna look so cool as it passes through the clouds. Obligatory shout out to the entire avionics team on Starship. <laughs> and there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our ship is doing great so far. There's, There's those engines relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two, into the water. Starship is landed. Wow. And we have ship splashed down in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Some awesome buoy cam action here. Yes. Daylight news. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on shipping and made it all the way back down to Earth.